generalized coordinates. At first, let us discuss about coordinates. Coordinates means a set of values that show an exact position. Let us consider a point P in two dimension. Now, to find the position or location of this point P, let us draw two dimensional coordinate axis OX and OY. Now, to find the position of this point P, we need to move along x axis and then along y axis then we will get the exact position of this point in terms of x and y if we consider the same point in three dimensional coordinate system that is in cartesian coordinate system then at first we need to move along x axis then along y axis and then along z axis then we will get the exact position of this point in three dimensional cartesian coordinate system now if we consider two dimensional molar coordinate system then to find the position or location of any point we need to move through a distance r along x-axis and then turn through an angle theta then we will get the exact location of this point in terms of polar coordinate that is r and theta if we consider cylindrical coordinate system r theta z then we have to move along x-axis then turn through an angle theta and then move along z axis then we will get the exact location of this point in terms of r theta z that it is in cylindrical coordinate system now in spherical coordinate system r theta phi we have to move along x axis then turn through an angle theta and then turn through an angle phi then we will get the exact location of this point in terms of r theta and phi that is in a spherical coordinate system now let us consider a particle which moves in a circular path let us draw two dimensional coordinate axis x and y now the radius of this circle is r the position of the point may be here or here or here or maybe this the position of this point now position of any point on this circular path can be obtained in terms of cartesian coordinate x y or in terms of polar coordinate r and theta now x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta now since the particle moves in a circular path so for this dynamical system number of constraint is one now we can easily find the position or location of the point on this circular path if we know only the halo of theta if we know the halo of theta we can find the position or location of this point on this circular path anywhere therefore generalized coordinate will be theta so generalized coordinate is the minimum number of coordinates required to describe the configuration of the dynamical system that is by knowing the value of theta we can find the exact location of the point on this circular path instead of using cartesian coordinates x y generalized coordinates the minimum number of independent coordinates or variables which is required to describe the motion of a dynamical system is known as generalized coordinates for a system of n particles and k constraints 
in d dimension the number of independent coordinates f equal to dn minus k this f number of minimum independent coordinates required to describe configuration and motion of a mechanical system are called generalized coordinates and are denoted by qi where i varies from 1 to up to f now degree of freedom the minimum number of generalized coordinates required to completely describe the configuration of the system is called degree of freedom so generalized coordinates means minimum number of coordinates and degree of freedom means number of generalized coordinates generalized coordinates can be any set of parameters that equivalently specify a point in space. We can express Cartesian coordinates Ri for the ith particle in terms of generalized coordinates in the form Ri equal to Ri of Q1, Q2, Q3 up to Qf, T, where T is time. For example, simple pendulum. A simple pendulum consists of a point mass called Bo suspended at the lower end of a massless, inextensible string of constant length fixed at its upper end to a fixed rigid support. Here, number of free particles is 1, number of constraint is 2. First constraint is length of the string is constant and the second constraint is the bob moves in a plane therefore generalized coordinates is given by one and the generalized coordinate is nothing but theta by knowing the fellow of theta we can determine the position of the bob so theta is the generalized coordinates that means the minimum number of coordinates or minimum number of information required to describe the position of the bob. Advantages of generalized coordinates Generalized coordinates are not limited to Cartesian coordinates. They allow for the use of alternative coordinate systems that may be more suitable for describing the configuration of a system. Generalized coordinates provide a natural and convenient way to handle constraints in classical mechanics. By utilizing appropriate generalized coordinates, the constraints can be expressed as equations, simplifying the analysis and allowing for the incorporation of constraints directly into the equations of motion. Generalized coordinates enable a more concise and elegant representation of complex systems by appropriately choosing the generalized coordinates the degrees of freedom and independent variables necessary to describe the system can be significantly reduced generalized coordinates are closely tied to the concept of energy and the lagrangian formulation in classical mechanics the Lagrangian function which is expressed in terms of generalized coordinates and their derivatives simplifies the derivation of equations of motion using the principle of least action providing a powerful and systematic approach to solving problems in classical mechanics. Generalized coordinates allow for system-specific descriptions that are tailored to the unique properties and geometry of the system under study. Many physical systems naturally possess non-Cartesian characteristics. Using generalized coordinates allows for a seamless transition between different coordinate systems, facilitating the analysis and understanding of systems with curved or non-rectangular geometries.